Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. and welcome back to another Cricut project. So today I am setting up my table for the big game. We are doing a football party y'all and I didn't have any football plates because who has football plates? Um, and so I ran into my craft room, opened Cricut Access, pulled up some SVGs and today we're making football plates. So this is removable vinyl, which means after the game, these just come off. They go back to being plain black plates. But for today, they are super cute football. Made a couple versions, made two of these and two that say Super Bowl. I also have matching drink stirs and a cake topper. So if you wanna check that out, see the full table completed, I will link that video down below. It took about hour, maybe two hours to do all three things, mainly because I had to find all the files that I liked and design them. Um, because while the Super Bowl image was already designed, ready to go in Cricut Access, the X's and O's were not, and I had to arrange those. But I will share that file with all of you so you can go ahead, skip the designing, just start creating. Let's open Cricut Access and get started so that your football table looks as cute as my football table. <laughs> I'm pretty proud of myself. <laughs> Let's go. If you are in Cricut, you're going to go ahead and open a canvas. Whether you open a new project or if you already have one that you're working on, you're going to open a canvas. Now I have already started working on this little project of mine because I already have a started working on some Super Bowl Sunday projects for my little party here, including some drink stars and a cake topper. So you will see my mock-up here that I'm working on for my plates. I did not want to buy new plates and I didn't want to go with paper plates. So as always, removable vinyl on my regular plates is the way to go. And what I'm thinking is something very, very, very similar this, it, it, this is what I'm thinking. I went to just Google and I searched for football lines on a chalkboard. I have black plates, so I'm thinking white vinyl on black plates and to go with this kind of a look. And so there are a million ways to do this, obviously, for the different plays. I really liked this kind of simple, just the O's and X's with one arrow as opposed to the busyness of all the dotted lines and arrows since these are plates we don't want to use too much vinyl so this is what i've mocked up now i have the three o's and the three x's you can see the big circle is my 10 inch plate and then just the one arrow of uh, this fella second this fella yes that is the proper terminology so what I'm going to do before I cut this is I'm going to go ahead and group it all. Perfect. I'm actually going to ungroup it all. I don't know why I just did that. Well, I do know. It's just not going to work. I'm going to resize the big circle to 9.5 because the inside diameter of my plate, it is a 10 inch plate, it's a little smaller than 10. And as you can see, we're going to slice off this side. So I just, I think it needs to be a smidge smaller. Perfect. So now I'm going to go ahead and group everything but the big circle, which is what I meant to do the first time. Okay. I'm going to make it just a smidge smaller. I want it to oversect, oversect, overlap, intersect right through this part of the X. I think that'll be easiest to kind of cut and weed and put on the plate with some transfer tape. Perfect. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to weld this whole top layer, all my X's, all my O's. Now, since I've already kind of put this together, made a design, um, you know, I didn't walk you through all that, but essentially all I did was come over here to the images library and I searched for chalk arrow. Perfect. And then I just literally looked through here until I found one that I liked. So if we look at my bookmarked 
images. Here is the arrow that I ended up using. Here is the X I ended up using. Here's the O I ended up using. I'm not quite sure why it's only showing me like three things at a time because um, they're all bookmarked here. But there you go. You can pick whatever, um, you know, images you like. We come to images and bookmarks this way. We can see them all. But the three I ended up using, if you want to search for these specific ones, is this arrow from Artichoke Designs, this X from J Chewy Designs, and this circle from A to Z Digital Designs. And all of these are free with the Cricut Access Library. I will add um, my image to the Cricut Access Library so you can grab it if you like um, when I'm done. But I simply grabbed those from the library. They are nothing that I you know, designed or uploaded. You can grab them really easily. So I'm going to go ahead, take all of these and weld them. Of course, if you prefer other images, you could use other O's or X's or arrows. There's a whole library of them. So now we are going to take both of these, our big plate and our image, and we're going to slice them. Slice, slice, slice. Move the outside. Remove the extra layer, remove the back. And that leaves us with just this layer, which is what we're going to cut out of our white vinyl to go on our black plate. So there we go. Now we don't need all these other pieces. Let's just go ahead and group them for now. We can turn them all off at once we've already cut these. I will link to this project down below the cake topper and the drink stirs. But for right now, we're doing the plates. My whole idea for this is that I didn't want to go out and buy a bunch of party supplies. So I'm just, I'm seeing what I can whip up literally in an afternoon for this party. <sighs> and I think it's going to be super cute. All right. So because this is eight and a half by 8.3, um, we cannot cut this on the Joy, but it is vinyl, so you should be able to cut it with your, you know, Explore Air 2, your Maker, um, any of the other Cricut machines, pretty much. Click Make. I am going to be using a Smart Removable Vinyl, but you can use regular vinyl on a mat. Perfect. Since it's vinyl, we do not need to mirror it, so we are good to go. I am going to make at least two of these. I think I might do a couple different plates, maybe two of these and two of the ones to match my drink stirs. That'd be cute. That'd be super cute. And now we need to just connect to our maker. We are using removable smart vinyl so that we can take these off our plates once we are finished. I'm going to select more pressure because I just find that works best with my machine. And we will move over to the actual Cricut to load our materials. All right, so we've got our Cricut. We've got it loaded with our Smart Vinyl. This is a big roll on my roll holder. I love it because you can literally just weed it right in. Don't have to use a cutting mat or anything. It's amazing. Load it into the machine. It's going to measure out how much material we need for this project to make sure we have enough. We have a whole roll, so we have more than enough. And then we will hit cut.
we're gonna go ahead and slice the roll off. Now we can set this big bad boy away for another project. And eject our plate design. Now I did go ahead and I told it to cut two of these, which I forgot about on camera. So we're going to slice these apart. I'm just looking for where the slice apart needs to happen. That's right here in between this X and this O. It's very hard to tell with white vinyl sometimes. Just go slow, make sure you've got it. White vinyl is definitely one of the things that I use my, uh, my Bright 360, my big floor lamp for, for weeding, or my light pad, either one. So, I'm gonna go ahead, we'll use a weeding tool here to weed out all of those extra pieces. So, in between the O's, Dun, 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 dun. around the axis, around the arrow, the whole thing. The O's are the only thing. Can you see how it has all these little pieces since I used a chalk line O that we need to kind of be more careful to remove all those little extra pieces. And then we will be ready to use some transfer tape to put these on our plates. So I will be back once both pieces are Weeded. All right, we are all weeded. These are actually pretty quick to weed. Like I was saying, just the insides of those chuck circles was definitely the hardest. And I already transferred the first one to a plate and you can see, you can't really see um, my transfer tape. I went ahead and cut around my O and my X here where we spliced so that I could fit these things directly into the corner of my plate. So I wanna try in all my wisdom here to use the same piece of transfer tape because I've only used it once. And I would like to use it more than once. There we go. Perfect. Got this one pretty close. This one will need to be cut. So all I do is come in with some scissors. We're not gonna cut literally directly next to the vinyl because we don't wanna actually cut the vinyl, but just right next to it. Like we're not trying to cut it out, we're just cutting right next to it. And that way we can fit that transfer tape right down into the curve of our plate. Get it as close as possible. Let's go ahead and transfer this baby. The puppies are playing in the other room. Can you hear them? Getting ready for the soup bowl. They don't understand that this is a Super Bowl party. They just are excited about all the activity. People. Stuff. See if that was enough. Scraping.
go. So those are a little delicate, but just go slow. Make sure all the vinyl is down as you're pulling up carrier sheet so you don't rip anything. Nothing gets left behind. line up the curve in the corner, making sure that the rest is kind of just centered on the plate as best we can. There we go. Start in the corner, pushing it into the corner. And I just use my fingers for this. Obviously, I don't want to scratch my plates, which I don't think the scraper tool will but it's not necessary. The vinyl really doesn't need that much pressure. It is removable vinyl so that we can take it off when we're done, go back to normal plates or decorate them for something else. This is how I did my Halloween plates. Any time of the year that I don't have a specific themed plate, uh, Put some vinyl on it. It's not going to stay in your dishwasher, but you don't really need it to. You're typically only using it for a day or a couple days, maybe. And it will stay, the vinyl will stay for at least one or two washes. So I am happy with that. I did two of this, like, <laughs> football gridiron chalkboard uh, design. And then I did two of the same Super Bowl design as the drink stirs and the cake toppers. So I go ahead, take these out and let's put them on the island with the rest of our Super Bowl display. I think these might be the cutest plates I've ever made. And I said that when I made the pumpkin plates for Halloween, because I love a good decorative plate. And just like for all of the plates I own, I'm not going to go out and buy one for every single occasion. I'm not buying Halloween. I'm not buying 4th of July. I'm not buying, you know, any of those. I'm definitely not buying football plates. So that's when the cricket comes in handy, ties the whole table together. We've got drink stirs, the cake top, and now our plates. So if you want to check out the other video, I will link that down below. But for now, my table's set. I've got people on their way over. We're going to have fun watching football. And I hope that you have fun with whoever you choose to watch the Super Bowl with. <sighs> Let's go.